<sighs> Poor Rhydon. It was... You know, Rhydon looks pretty damn good by itself. It's very simple. It's a Gen 1 Pokemon. It's, a, it's not super exciting, but it has, a, it has an elegance to it, I guess. They just added so much to it. And, like, not in a good way. Like, they have the, the protector elements, uh, so it's got this, like, vest of the armor on it. It has uh, a, a drill, it has an ankylosaurus, like, club tail, and it has cannon hands. I sort of see it as a construction theme going on, hence the drill, hence the the tail for, like, bulldozing things. The, the cannon hands are a bit weird. This execution of all those concepts put together is just not good. It loses the charm of Rhydon and it's just like a big, it's basically just a boulder with arms. <laughs> uh, so the like rhino aspect, even the kaiju aspect just don't stand out as much. So that's the stuff I want to fix. I'm going to try to do a version of Rhyperior that keeps all of those con like construction related concepts but just does it a little bit better but I don't know how well all those individual concepts all those individual pieces of the design are going to work together so we'll start going that way but maybe we'll change some things as we go but I thought of Electivire and Obama Snow, Mega Obama Snow specifically as references for how I wanted to this design to go. Rather than a, an overall like rounded bulk, I want a top heavy bulky ride on. Mega Obama Snow in particular has the, the pose that I had in mind. The protector isn't much of an item. The protector is just, they're, they're just like soft pads, I guess. Um, and they're orange, and then, so that like that's important. Um, I'll, I will try to keep the orange color, and I think there are some ways that I can use it that are way better than what Riperior Original did it. But we'll see as we go. That's one of those things that if I'll try to keep it in, but if it doesn't work out, I'm I'm gonna throw it out. legs could use some more bulk and maybe the shape would be similar to Rhyhorn's haunch hip armor. I think I'm pretty happy with this. Like it can still function as a as a construction Pokemon, but I feel like this is more interesting. I thought this was going to be a difficult redesign, but you guys are so enthusiastic about the ideas that I've that I've had, so. I think a small horn could be slightly larger just so it's not up against the edge of his arm in the silhouette. Fair enough.
I'm pretty happy with that. I think the colors work. I, I am noticing now the legs are are the the left leg is too high. The left leg needs to be lower for sure. Damn it, why didn't I notice that when I was still working on the uh, when I was still working on the lines? <laughs> Am I going to allow myself to move on to the shading? pretty happy with this. I think I'm just gonna call it done and, uh, well, color in the, the lines as I normally do, but other than that, I'm, I'm happy with it. I think it looks good. I would just add more rugged concave areas to this one. To what, the head? I mean, if it's something that I can accomplish with shading, then maybe, but I don't... I think the head looks pretty good. Like, it works for me. Uh, imagine, like, imagine it's dented between the eyes and horns, something that looks like that might just be possible with shading. I don't think a, a like, a crater motif is really fitting with the rest of it. Uh, what about this? The orange parts right now look like life vests and construction zone vests. Maybe you should give them more texture, more rock. I mean, the protector is a bunch of pads, like, and it is a construction uh, vest. It is kind of like Kevlar. That's pretty much what I was thinking when it comes to caved-in part. Maybe it won't work after all. Okay. Yeah, I don't think that, that the caved-in head just really adds very much. Yeah. But, but yeah, the smoothness of the, the pads, uh, of the orange parts, was on purpose. Uh, this is what the protector looks like, right? So if anything, I could, like, give it some color texture. I could give it some stripes or something that are a little bit redder, I mean, some, something like that. But the, the smoothness of the material was definitely on purpose. You thought the protector looked like it was made of metal? To me, the protector looks like uh, I don't I don't know what they are, but like yeah, they're just like they they look like soft pads, like rubber. You know, like the the like thin kind of mattress like things that you put on the floor in like gym class or something to make it for a softer floor, and they have like this vinyl case vinyl covering that's kind of what i'm thinking of so I, I could make it shinier but i wouldn't be going for a metal look i would be going for a plastic look maybe that helps anyway i think i'm just going to color the outlines and, and call it a day whether you like it or not happy with it. 
uh, I'm sure there's going to be lots of things that those of you in the chat and those of you in the comments that are you're going to think that should have been done differently. But uh, I think it looks pretty good. This is pretty much exactly what I envisioned when I started working on the raid design. And I wasn't sure how well it was going to work, but it works well enough for me. So... But as usual, just, you know, let me know in the comments what you think and what you would have done differently if you would have done something that's more like Rhydon, more like the original Rhyperior. I would like to know. So the options for the next poll are Lopany, Togekiss, or our first foray into Generation 5, Sock and Throw. Ah, but the the day for the next redesign stream is going to be different uh, because I'm actually going to be away. I'm going to be out of town in the last week of September. So the video is going to come out at its usual time on the first Friday of the month. But the the stream itself, will, we're going to record a little bit early. So the next redesign stream is going to be on Saturday, the 21st of September. And I hope to see you there. So let me know what you thought of Rhyperior in the comments. If you enjoyed the video, you can leave a like. And if you're new here, you can subscribe. If you want to support my work in other ways, you can subscribe here on Twitch. Or you can also support me on Patreon. I'm Umbreon Libris. I'll see you in the next chapter. <laughs>